Welcome back, everybody. It's, of course, Cape Rugby TV, and uh, we carry on talking about uh, Club Rugby. Right, for those of you that are not sure what's um, happening at the moment in terms of the world of education and uh, coaching, well, the West Bromwich Rugby Union is, of course, very busy with uh, coaching courses at the moment. There's the uh, World Rugby Level 1 for 15s, World Rugby Level 2 15s, World Rugby Level 1 7s, there's the World Rugby Strength and Conditioning courses, so a number of courses happening. Of course, the referees courses as well. A number of courses happening at Western Province Rugby at the moment. And uh, uh, this past Saturday at uh, Newlands, uh, Western Province held the uh, Level 1 for 15s coaching course. We managed to catch up with Villagers Rugby, Blake Gower, um, and of course, uh, Ricardo Jacobs from uh, False Bay. He's the Chief Medical Officer there. But a number of other folks in attendance at this course that uh, is, of course, great to see coaches coming through the ranks. Let's catch up behind the scenes. Ah, it was a great day. It was a, a day filled with um, like a lot of learning. Um, you know, I love rugby, and it's great to see that uh, that rugby's so loved in this part of the world and, and looked after. Um, well, definitely. I mean, you know, the professional coaches that, that are involved with the Stormers and, and DHL Western Province are, are all started here. They all started with Level 1. So, um, I mean, if you want to be a professional coach, you have to start with Level 1 and you have to start here. Um, and you have to learn and you have to listen and you have to be prepared to you know to ask questions and, and work hard uh no job is, job is not in jeopardy um yeah uh i just i really want to do level one because i want to be better at my job and understand the principles of this game and and support where I can and, and being involved with DHL Stormers and DHL Western Province is fine but but you you only really learn to love this game when you when you hands on. So I wanna go and help at schools and, and my rugby club and you know contribute that way. Yeah, I was uh, excited before arriving and I just became really impressed as the day went on, you know. Um, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, this is, you know, this is arguably the best rugby uh, union um, in the country. Yeah, I was, I was really impressed with everything and um, I, I, I feel really upskilled and a whole lot more confident within myself um, just from doing the level one. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, de definitely, definitely. And, you know, I also got asked some hard questions from the guys, which, which I love. I love, uh, I love a bit of banter, uh, you know, love, um, you know, you, one must always look after the youth and see the, the fun side of things. And uh, yeah, it was hands on. And uh, I like how uh, Nazim also said, um, it flows, you know, things flow, things just happen. Um, and that it was quiet in the beginning and then and then we opened up and that's a sign of a healthy you know institution is when you can open up and be happy yeah I've been pushing to do this course for a long time uh, I've done the old Saru course and I've always been involved in coaching, being on the sideline, and I feel sometimes a sport medical or sport um, practitioner tends to be a additional coach on the side of the field. So if he doesn't empower himself to get in and knowledgeable and be online or close to what his coach is looking for, um, then he doesn't understand. And there's usually I've seen 
many a times that there's a difference between the coaching and the medical management and there's always a clash so I try to find that we can find an even medium in me doing coaching course is to close that gap and also I love this game this sport uh, it's, it's a book Yes, um, in this pandemic, a lot of people don't take it serious. A lot of people laugh it off because it's not happened to them. But a lot of other people have experienced it. We've had one member here that actually had COVID himself and he explained to us how, how nasty it can get for somebody. And uh, with some problems, it was, it was good enough that they never rushed into anything, in, especially when everybody was forcing them to bring club rugby back because they were lo clubs were losing players and they feel they were closing down and they were very cautious and they they've been good about how they want to bring the game back into the western cape into cape itself and uh, safely and and also the protocols that they put in place was was up to standard that um, the Western Cape Health Department will be very chopped if they walked in here and did an ad hoc inspection that they would have passed with flying colours. Yes, uh, Nazim, well, I know Nazim for years from his Western Province under 19 to Western Province under 20 days as a coach. Um, when I was with Peter de Villiers with the Western Province B team and we met a lot of times I think and what he carried across the day, him and uh, the other Adams, uh, know him for years too from his all good coaching days was was the knowledge that they imparted on us is, is something that you can use and anyone that sat here today will use it and say oh I remember that, I remember the coach showing us the dance for, for young players and all of a sudden the table behind us started to say, oh, that's a good idea for us to use at our academy. So it, it's skills that we can take out here and put into the schools, the clubs, wherever you want to develop rugby. Fantastic stuff. Great to see the coaches uh, getting involved there. And if you are out there and you want to get involved, and then sign up. You can, of course, do the uh, level World Rugby Level 1 for 15s, the 7s, of course, the Strength and Conditioning course, as well as the Level 2 courses that are, are happening at the moment. So reach out to Western Province and get involved. It's a great way to get involved with, as I say, schools coaching or at club level. Folks, as you know, MCHEM 24-hour pharmacy has an extensive range of good quality orthopedic and surgical equipment at the very competitive rates as we know them to have. Um, that's of course in their orthopedic and surgical zone. And their objective is to provide an extensive range of good quality orthopedic and surgical equipment at very competitive rates. They specialize in a range of wound care, um, orthopedic products, which is of course unbeatable, and if you can't find it at MCHEM, uh, then um, MCHEM's orthopedic or surgical zone will, well, they'll probably find it for you. You just need to get down to MCHEM and tell them what it is that you need. Of course, um, best advice there. Fantastic to have the type of advice that, that you need when it comes to those products. And of course, remember, um, one brand of orthopedic products or surgical products is not necessarily the same as another brand. And so it's very important that you understand the quality of orthopedic or surgical products. And of course at MCHEM, uh, they're firm believers that when it comes to orthopedic and surgical products, quality manufacturing is always the most important factor to consider. Well, uh, that's how we know MCHEM to be. Of course, striving for the gold standard, as Mr. Malach at MCHEM would call it. So there we go, folks. Don't forget now, get down to MCHEM 24-hour pharmacy for your surgical and orthopedic needs. Folks, we'll take an ad break, and when we come back from the break, we are going to uh, carry on talking about what's happening in the world of Western Rums Club Rugby. Back in a sec. <laughs> 